Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. I don't hear anything. Good morning. Ah, that's better. Listen, I want to tell you something. Last year during commencement, some of the students, and it wasn't you, tweeted that they want what they called my bling. <laughs> I am going to tweet today that I want some of your caps. Those are quite special. So may the best cap be given to me. I would like to start by recognizing the golden graduates who have graduated more than 50 years ago. Welcome. <laughs> graduates, we are awed by your dedication and amazed by your achievements. Above all, we are excited about the future you'll create for yourselves and for all of us. Parents, friends, and loved ones, this is your day too. We know how deeply you share in the happiness of this occasion and how your love, advice, and sacrifice have made this day possible. Graduates, please rise. Turn to your parents and your friends and your partners. Thank you. Thank you. you. Please be seated. We, uh, uh, I want you to behave as well as our graduates. <laughs> Faculty colleagues, trustees and university staff, today we also celebrate your immeasurable contributions to our university and to our students, our graduating class. This day belongs to you as well. Let's recognize them. And to our very distinguished commencement speaker and honorary degree recipients, you serve as exemplars for all of us we are honored that beginning today, all of you will remain members of the Northeastern family. While we have much to celebrate, we are joined in the shadow of tragedy. We are feeling a conflicting mix of emotions, joy and pain, triumph and loss. Fortunately, we also draw strength from one another. Like many of you, I first came to Boston as a student. I arrived here from half a world away. Although I was a newcomer, Boston made me feel welcome. I was embraced by roommates, teachers, and neighbors. I will always remember how people went out of their way to make me feel at home. Many of the friends I made as, students, as a student remain my friends today, and the bonds I feel with them and with this city are unbreakable. 18 days ago, the character of our city was revealed to the rest of the world. It is a character based on four centuries of people arriving like me in search of new beginnings and a better life. Because Boston is a destination of hope for so many, it is a city infused with optimism and goodwill. Later in this ceremony, we will honor the emergency responders and members of law enforcement who showed the world the true character of Boston. Right now, I want to acknowledge members of the Northeastern community who also rose to the challenge on that fateful day. 
They are students in our Bouvet College of Health Sciences, and many of them are graduating today. They were stationed with their advisors at the finish line to provide routine assistance to runners after the race. But when disaster struck, there was nothing routine about their response. They immediately put their education to use. And when confronted with the worst, they brought out their best. Let me ask these students and advisors to stand. And some I know will not be standing because it's very difficult for them. So I would like you to stand if you can, if you're willing to, and be acknowledged by our community. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Be seated. As educators, as educators, it is our duty to turn extraordinary events into teachable moments. There are three lessons I believe we can take from all the first responders. Takeaways we can carry with us when we leave here today. First, they put the needs of others before themselves. All of us have seen images of people tearing through the barricades to reach those who were wounded. At a time when it would have been understandable to seek shelter, they thought only of those who needed them so urgently. It is a measure of the bonds that unite us as a human family, that in a moment of chaos and desperation, so many people rush to help their fellow men and women. It is said that in times of crisis, our true selves are revealed. This crisis revealed the depth and character of those charged with keeping us safe, secure, and healthy. Thank you. A second lesson is that the men and women who responded were prepared for the unknown and the unexpected, even when danger literally appeared out of nowhere. Let me share with you an email that Jen McBride, who's graduating today, hello Jen, sent to her, <laughs> sent to her teacher at Salamanca. She wrote, I never thought I would use the first aid and stress management principles we learn in your class so soon in such a real way. I know that part of the reason I was able to respond quickly and calmly to help those injured and assist the physicians at the scene was because of my recent course. Thank you for the education and, coach and coaching you provided. What Jen told us, and what we heard from many, is that the strong foundation provided by her education helped her face the unknown and the unexpected. We often think of education as preparing us for a specific path. Yet, the most powerful aspect of education is that it, it prepares us for the unknown even the unimaginable. Education allows us to meet challenges we haven't even conceived. Our students were not expecting what they saw that day. They were trained to help runners recover after a race. Yet, 
they found themselves doing emergency triage and making tourniquets. I have no doubt that their efforts saved lives. Their determination plus their education enabled them to put aside the shock and horror of the tragedy, go beyond themselves, and transcend any limitations. A third takeaway is that even when individuals hurt us, the power of community heals us. After the attack, I visited several of our injured students in local hospitals. Each one of them was grateful for the emergency personnel who performed flawlessly in the midst of chaos. But each one also had stories of citizens who came to their rescue, giving them aid and comfort at critical moments. This is the face of hope. It is why attempts to destroy the fabric of the human family through violence never succeed. In this case, and many others, when the strands of humanity are strained, they ultimately are strengthened. There are countless lessons that can be taken from the responders and victims of the tragedy. These are three that resonate with me. They taught us to put the needs of others first. They showed us how to face the unknown and, an, and, and unexpected. And they reminded us of the healing power of community. These are not just lessons that emerge in crisis. In many ways, graduates, your education helped you learn this le these lessons. It has been my honor and that of my colleagues to walk with you on your extraordinary journeys. Now, as you prepare to take the next step in your lives, we can say with confidence, you are ready to take on the world. No matter where your individual path leads, I know you will carry this university and this great city of Boston forever in your hearts. All of us will remain Northeastern together and Boston strong. Thank you.